Hi and welcome to another Type with me. This week we will cover change CSS variables with JavaScript. This week I needed to change CSS variables with JavaScript so I'm going to handle and explain it to you how you can do that with JavaScript. It's very powerful so I hope you will enjoy this video. Great, this is our project and we already created a basic setup for our project. We have created an index.html where we have two buttons and we have a diff which is a cube and it has a width and a height, right? So when we go to our CSS, you will see that we have two CSS variables. One is a size, which is 100 pixels, and one is a count, right? With CSS variables, we can calculate certain things. So what we can do is we can say we have our size, we have our count, and we're going to multiply this with each other. And with these buttons, we want to change the uh, CSS variable of count, right? So how are we going to do that? So when we go and take a look at our index.js, you will see that we have uh, a document.get element by ID smaller. And then we're going to add an event listener click, which is make smaller. Of course, we need to have an ID here, which is ID bigger. Of course, here we need to do the same with ID smaller, right? So that's for that. But of course, First, when we can uh, add something to our count variable, we first need to get our count variable, right? So first of all, I'm going to make that code available and uh, show it to you how you can do that. So we're first of all going to put let count here, right? And then we're going to do something like this get computed style dot set uh, dot document dot document element right and then we're going to do something like get property value and then we need to have this and we're going to put it here We're gonna alert the count and we're gonna do the same here with make bigger so when we now go to our index.html page and we click on bigger we click on click on smaller we get one so that's great right so that is working so now we can move further and we can multiply by two when we want it bigger and we can multiply it, uh, we can uh, divide it by two when we want it smaller, right? So now we can prepare a new value. So we will do that. We have something like const new value equals count by two. Or we can multiply it. So we can do something like const new value equals count. We can multiply it by two. And now to um, set our new CSS variable, we need to do something like document. Dot. Dot document elements dot style dot set property then we have here our property and our new value we can do the same 
for bigger. One of the things that I'm still gonna do right is I'm gonna do an alert because I don't know if count is really a number. So it can be that it's not a number but just a string. And we just need to be sure of that, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna alert it. New value. And then I'm gonna set our new value, right? So let's test it out. So when we test this out, you'll see that we get a two and it's bigger. Get a four and it's bigger. So that's great, right? Now we can very easily do smaller and we get it smaller. So it's great, it's just working. When we go now to inspect, you will see that we have here our style, which is a QEM count one. If we make it bigger, you will see that it will be two. Bigger, you will see that we get four. Bigger even, you will see that we get eight. So <laughs> that's great, right? You can very easily see with your HTML top page what your CSS variables are. I hope you had something uh, that it was a nice video to watch, that you learned something, and I hope to see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel to support us, and um, yeah, thank you for watching.